Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yick from Yick's R Us, and I have a really small haul, grocery haul, and literally, oh, I could probably make a meal out of this, although probably most of my family won't enjoy it, but that's okay, that's okay. So I wanna jump on here quickly because I wanted to show you how we got more free groceries, well, essentially free, so let's get to it. First off, we got a bag of milk, because again, we always need a bag of milk, so we got a bag of milk, and then hopefully I'm gonna see if tomorrow I can get this other deal. If I can find it, I will go ahead and share that with you, but we don't know for sure. This is all from No Frills. We did get two, uh, eight bottles of this Unico uh, strained tomatoes sauce i guess it would be called um we i like to put this into cooking and makes it fast if i need to make some pasta sauce really really quickly um although i do make one from scratch that's really tasty but i will use this as a base for my pot roast or i'll use this as my base for a lot of spaghetti sauces because it's already you know a really great consistency so these were a dollar each which is a really good price and i also like the fact that it is in glass jars i don't always buy them in glass jars it's just when it's on sale but i do remember hearing that it's better to buy tomato products in glass than it is in can so there it is actually everything except for the milk today was a dollar each okay so the mushrooms were also a dollar each which is actually a really good price because normally they were i think like 227 so these are less than half price for the mushrooms and then we also got two bags of two pound carrots also for a dollar per bag which again amazing price because that were set to be 50 cents a pound and for the big carrots like the huge honking ones i've been getting those are on average about 79 cents to a dollar a pound so that was a really great price now these babies here guys i wanted to sh share with you how i essentially got these guys for free actually nelson did because he found this deal so if you remember from the last haul that I just posted up, I did tell you guys, was it the last one or the one before? Anyways, on one of them, I talked to you guys about um, the platform RFD or the forum RFD that Nelson's on a lot. And so they were talking about this deal and so Nelson had to go out and get it because it's free food, free food or essentially free. So what happens is, uh, using your optimum points at no frills, what could hap what happens is if you buy four of particular produce, you get 4,000 points back. And so these particular items here, the two pound bags of onions, and we actually needed onions, so this is worse perfectly. We Often we buy the 10 pound bag, um, and so, but I'm converting back to buying these two pound bags because I think the bigger onions are just a little bit easier to peel. But these ones were each like a dollar each, right? And so two, there's eight pounds here, so we're set to be $4 for eight pounds, which would be a so-so price. I normally can get the 10 pounds for like, maybe $2.97 to $3.97. So it is a little bit more expensive if you're price pointing at that. However, on RFD, they were talking about this deal where if you buy four of a particular produce, then you get 4,000 points back. Now with that points though, there was a glitch because I think that when I saw it before, you had to buy one of each particular item, but apparently there was some sort of system glitch and if you bought four of it, you're fine to have these products you'd be fine too so we got all of these onions for a dollar each and then we got four thousand points for these onions which when you convert the optimum points it works out to be about a thousand points is what equal to one dollar that means we got these for free same deal with all this broccoli so these broccoli heads were a dollar each and we got eight of them and so that means that we got 8,000 points, which means, again, we got all this for free. So if you are on a budget, go check out the resources you have. I mean, there's also food banks and everything, guys. So you want to reach out to, um, if you are, you know, in a situation where you have food insecurities, reach out to your local food banks and see what resources are available. Another thing to note is that if you are looking for a way to give back to the community, what you can also do is take advantage of, of, of kind of like things like this, um, where you can get free food and you can donate it back to a local food bank or to a local charity or to, you know, a family that's in need. You can give them a bag of onions and a couple of heads of of broccoli and they're it's super duper nutritious and you're helping somebody out so that's also something you can keep in mind there's also great information just online if you check out deal saving forums i know there's tons and tons of ones on facebook but red flag deals is nelson's absolute favorite and we have broccoli for weeks if you want to know how to keep your broccoli fresh 
make a video up here for you guys. So if you guys have any great grocery saving tips, make sure you do share them in the comment section. I'm always looking for ways to be a little bit more frugal with our grocery budget because I mean, that's I spend a lot of money on groceries. As you can probably tell from our haul videos, we love to grocery shop. So that's it for this haul, guys. In total, we did $29 in change for all of this. The most expensive item, of course, was the milk. Um, but however, when you deal with the point system, we will be getting $12 back as well from using those Ottoman points. So really happy with that. If you enjoyed this really short and quick video, make sure you do let me know. Give me a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, make sure you come back, hang out with us again. Click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. Until the next video, guys. Bye.